coffee with a side of cancer for California. California coffee drinkers are in for a buzzkill after a local judge ruled that everyone must be made aware that their cup of joe could come with the big C. A lawsuit filed by a nonprofit organization claims coffee companies failed to warn about acrylamide, a possible carcinogen produced when coffee beans are roasted. Previous studies have shown that animals given high levels of the chemical in drinking water developed multiple tumors, but research on the effects on humans are inconclusive. Experts say the amount of acrylamide ingested in coffee is small compared to eating french fries and potato chips or smoking tobacco. Many studies have even found probable evidence that coffee consumption is associated with a decreased risk of cancer. But because coffee companies failed to show that acrylamide posed no risk or added any health benefits, the judge ruled that coffee sold in California must carry a cancer warning label. Medical experts say a blanket warning linking coffee to cancer could cause unnecessary panic among the general public, especially since there is not enough evidence to suggest that this is, in fact, the case. Still want a cuppa? Death by Caffeine a South Carolina teen is dead after a combo of caffeinated drinks triggered a fatal heart issue in his normally healthy heart. Davis Allen Kripe collapsed in class on April 26th and died just an hour later. The 16-year-old had consumed multiple caffeinated drinks that day and died from a caffeine-induced cardiac event, otherwise known as abnormal heart rhythm. A healthy adult can safely ingest as much as 400 milligrams of caffeine daily, equivalent to either four cups of coffee, 10 colas, or three to five energy drinks. But for teens, the recommended daily intake is only 100 milligrams. That's a cup of coffee, three colas, or one energy drink. Caffeine prompts the release of the stress hormone norepinephrine, too much of which can cause rapid or irregular heart rate. Not enough blood is pumped into the body as a result, thus damaging or shutting down the brain and other organs. People who have died from caffeine overdoses also experienced seizures, with some reportedly choking on their own vomit. Caffeine does have certain benefits, and the vast majority consume it with no negative effects. But experts warn it should be taken in moderation, especially for kids and adolescents. Even buses need their Java. Waste coffee grounds will be powering London's buses as the city finds newer and cleaner ways to run its public transport system. Clean technology company BioBean has created a new biofuel by blending oil extracted from used coffee grounds with B20 biodiesel. The firm estimates that it would take just 2.55 million cups of coffee to create enough of the biofuel to power a London bus for an entire year. So far, BioBean has produced 6,000 liters of coffee oil for its pilot project with Shell and Transport for London. Many of the city's buses are already running on biofuel made from waste such as cooking oil or beef to reduce emissions, but this is the first time a coffee-derived fuel is being introduced. Londoners reportedly produce about 200,000 tons of coffee waste a year, and most end up in landfills where they emit harmful methane gas. The new initiative is not only beneficial to the environment, but also convenient for buses, which don't need to be modified to use the fuel. Good news for coffee drinkers. A new study shows that coffee drinkers are likely to live longer than non-coffee drinkers. Data was sampled from more than half a million people across 10 European countries. According to the study, coffee drinkers are likely to be smokers, drinkers, and meat eaters. However, it also shows coffee drinkers have significantly lower mortality rates than non-coffee drinkers and lower risk of death from all causes. The study revealed that coffee drinkers appear to have healthier lives and better glucose control, which may improve their overall health. Researchers say they will try to determine the particular compound in coffee that offers such health benefits. In the meantime, they suggest drinking around three cups of coffee a day for good health. 